Hello, hello, and welcome to Marvel's Future Fight. This is a new game on the Android App Store. I never played it before, so let's get into it and see how it goes. So uh, we can tap anywhere on the screen to move. Um, strange if it doesn't have a joystick, but um, let's figure this out. Uh, tap to attack. Okay, we have to tap on the enemies, and he goes and he attacks them automatically. That's story, I assume. Yeah, there is a joypad. Here it is. Um, okay, so you have the option of uh, using a control pad uh, or a one-touch system. Um, I'd much rather the control pad. Um, yeah, just because the one touch stuff is just way too simplistic, anyways. Um, okay, we won, we won. Okay, oh, that's a cool tutorial. It gives you both uh, options. Uh, shows you how both works, and um, then it allows you to choose which one you like better. That's pretty cool. Um, fluid controls, very nice, and uh, it works well so far. Um, now you can see it's it's gonna be a hack and slash game. Um, it has cooldowns, uh, power ups with cooldowns. That is. Um, no loot to pick up right now. Uh, really nice looking graphics though. Really nice. You'd expect this from a game by Marvel. Um, okay, tap to switch heroes so you can switch heroes as well. Cool. Okay. Um, what can he do? Is he, uh, what's that character? I'm not even sure. I'm not a big comic fan. Um, what's happening here? Uh, tap for a joint attack. Uh, okay. Oh, so we can summon both heroes and then have them fully massacre everyone. Cool. Okay, that's pretty neat. I like the way the, the level uh, continues to with the wall that dissolves. That's pretty cool. Yeah, let's keep the dialogue. Don't we want to see that right now? A cool game so far. Let's hope the microtransactions aren't too strong in this one. Um, 108, that's a big cool one. But yeah, Thor is in here now. Um, a whole lot is happening on the screen right now. Can barely keep up with it. What is Thor doing? Is Thor on our side or not? Wait, what? He's not on our side now? Or is that not Thor at all? <laughs> no weird distinct what what <laughs> Yeah, it's one of those games where you're supposed to lose the opening battle. So yeah, let's skip that. Yeah, let's skip the dialogue. Uh, so yeah, we can get into missions here. Um Did we not finish the tutorial then? There's another tutorial. Anyhow, let's examine the screen though. Uh, there's gems, so that means definitely microtransactions. There's uh, the gold, which is usually in game currency. There's another currency or something there. I'm not sure what that is. Badges or something? I don't know. But there is this. This is usually a fuel thing. Energy. So yeah, it's gonna be heavy on the microtransactions. It's gonna be one of those games. So right away, beware of that when you get into this game if you're gonna play it. Let's just hope it's just not too nasty and you can earn some of it in game. But yeah, the one that's got gems, that's usually only purchasable. So, um, yeah, that's a warning. So let's get on with this and uh, see what else this game has in store for us. Um, this is another character now. Um, Shield Simulator. Okay, so this isn't actually uh, real bad guys. This is some kind of simulation. Back to act activate autoplay. So there's an autoplay mode as well. Interesting. Useful for mobile gaming, but then it takes away the gameplay. Mm, not a big fan of to play, but um, nonetheless, whatever. Probably good to get through the grinding missions if you have to grind to own currency or whatever. There's another kind of currency there I'm just seeing now. Um, crates or something. I have no idea. Okay, there's uh, Captain America. Okay, tap the screen. Now, uh, do we have to fight him or what? Yeah, we do. Okay. It's just out of playing, but um, do we have controls on the special attacks? I don't believe so. No, it's doing everything on its own. So yeah, um, mission completed. What is that icon? Was there a replay button? I'm not sure. Tutorial lost leader. Okay, yeah, great. Let's get out of the tutorial, please. Um, okay, back to the main menu. There we go. Okay, uh, you succeeded restoring the damage data. <laughs> that was damage data. Yeah, that's how you get rid of that. Okay, um, what can we do here now? Yeah, we have to recruit heroes, so that's probably what gonna, what's going to cost some currency. And um, at some point the heroes probably die or something, you have to replace them with more and yeah, whatever. Uh, you can build your team like this, you have to drag them out. Oh cool, that's a cool little thing. Okay, he's out, um, skip. Let's, um, let's, let's examine this main menu. What do they want here now? Okay, you can customize all of them. Um, yeah, as you can see currency yep this is where the scary part usually happens um yeah we got an achievement well how much is it gonna cost us probably a whole big chunk of our wallet um 
code name. Okay. Swipe keyboard do not fail us. Hansen. Okay. Yep. Uh, oh, come on. Hansen. Do no. Jurists. That can't be taken, surely. There we go. Great. I like how they call it code name. And we got some free crystals, <laughs> which of course is going to be microtransactions later. Gift. So we got a gift. We claim the gift. We have more gifts. We're not going to claim that now, though. It's still tutorializing. So, um, yeah. Dimension chest we got for free. Let's, yeah. What is that going to give us? It gives us a character. We got the Ghost Rider. Great. Um, now to get more, you need to purchase. Let's check this out now. Purchase more. Uh, crap. Yep. Um, a hundred and twelve dollars for five thousand five hundred plus twenty four two hundred forty thousand gold. Yeah, no thanks. Um, you can probably buy gold as well. Yeah, that's how it works. Yep, there's a whole lot of microtransactions for everything. Did you use crystals to buy? Um, let's see the fuel. Uh, fuel system. And of course, you can use the gems as well to buy fuel. So yeah, it all comes back to the microtransaction currency. Ah, <sighs> yeah. I'm sure you can play it to an extent. And uh, what the heck is this now? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can play it to an extent and, and have some fun. But you know, it's gonna get it. It's gonna hijack the gameplay at some point. And the man you play, or you're just not gonna have a good time. Anyhow, um, there's uniforms and. Yeah, there's a whole lot of game here, but yeah, again, it relies on the microtransaction model. That's mobile gaming for you, and you've got to be aware of that. Um, there's an arena mode as well. Um, yeah, it needs us to clear more. I'm guessing the arena is what's going to use the fuel system. So that you pay to pay fuel, like, kind of, to get into that arena. So that's how you, there's probably a ladder system where you can gain ran ranks and prestige and whatever. And um, you can battle online multiplayer mode and... Um, yeah, spend too much money on it. That's what you're gonna end up doing because at some point you're gonna run out of fuel, and we know how that works. Anyhow, um, that's yeah. Again, really nice graphics. That's the best part of this game, I'd say. Nice looking graphics. Um, let's just get into the fight, and we're gonna end this video here. Um, yeah, we, I've explained all there is. There's a lot of microtransactions. So if you're checking this out, be aware of that. Um, cool, coolish game. Nice graphics. But again, microtransactions are scary. So yeah, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you want more. Until next time, later.